This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Bada beam, bada boom. Brains is like, this is interesting. <laughs> no matter how you look at it, this is strange. Yeah, there Group is. Group hug! <laughs> Group hug, there's like a dude like, gun. And then the other. Gun, <laughs> gun at president. And then, and then someone guy's about to be, be intercepted with brick. <laughs> intercepted with brick. <laughs> All of the people involved in the case are gathered in the same place. Did we make a mistake here or something? One piece of evidence this recreation is based on is odd. If I had to choose which piece of evidence is fake, which piece of evidence is likely to be fake? Of these? Yeah. The shoes? The, the shoes don't have anything to do with what we're talking oh. about, though. Uh, the button? Why would that be fake? Well, what they could do is one person picks up the button, and then... Smears blood smears on it. Smears blood on it, and then just puts it why in would the they do? Why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Well, then maybe it's the, um, uh, the brick? No, the brick wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> I forged the brick. We I also don't have the brick. brick as evidence. I don't know what else it would be then. It's the photo. Photo? Was this photo really taken by Mr. Cameron? No! Oh, what do you mean? We have proven that whoever killed Mr. Cameron also moved the body. For what reason would they have to deliberately move his body? Perhaps the culprit wanted to falsify the scene so that Mr. Cam that Mr. Cameron was witnessed. And that's why they took a fake photo? They made the president stand under the street light and took a photo with Cameron's camera. It Mr. President, we need a really epic shot. Can you just like stand over there and look terrified? <gasps> sure! It would have been quite simple. Now that you mention it, Mr. Cameron's camera only had one photo on it, right? Indeed. In all likelihood, the original roll of film had been removed from the camera. And after loading a new roll of film into the camera, the fake photo was taken. I see! So this photo must have been taken after Mr. Cameron was killed, right? Yeah, Ca probably. Cameron's photo data updated in the organizer. Exactly. This was not the scene Mr. Cameron actually witnessed. It's likely that this photo is forged evidence. Then where did Mr. Cameron witness the president and his kidnapper? The photo isn't the only piece of evidence that it indicates what Mr. Cameron witnessed. Ah, oh, the testimony he left on the answering machine! Precisely. We should listen to the recording one more time and confirm what was said. Where else could the president and his kidnappers have been? Right there. They were over there? So, what's the basis for that claim? Hmm. Do I really need a basis for my claims? In other words, you don't know, do you? No! So it wasn't there. Let's try remembering what Mr. Cameron said in his eyewitness testimony. Let's pull that up before it doesn't give us the chance to anymore. Hello, Jill, are you asleep already? I'm in front of the facility now, but something's not right. Oh, yeah. He's the... here of all places, and in front the light of the just facility. went out. Did he <laughs> say something about the situation at the scene? Yeah. Yes. And the front of the facility would be further... No, it'd be further down. But it, the light just went out. There? He was here. There's also a light here. But he would have been way too close then. He wouldn't have been... He could have hidden in the shadows. It's yeah. near the polar bear, I think. No. Nope. Oh. Polar bear! Polar bear! Maybe it was inside. Oh, wait. Duh! This light is literally out. <laughs> Mr. Cameron said that on the answering machine, the light just went off. I can barely see a thing now. There are only two places here where the lights are bro broken. The light by the orphanage. Okay. Could you please update the recreation? Yeah, Roger. She's over there. Right by this there. This is. So the kidnapper was near the orphanage? Indeed. With this, we've shown the connection between the orphanage and the kidnapping. So that's why they moved the body and took a fake photo to create a false testimony. In order to remove any suspicion towards the orphanage in court. Hmm. With this, the state of the recreation has changed completely. 
The time the body was discovered scene has probably been greatly impacted as a result. Then let's go check out right away. Let's go check it out right away. Preparations are ready. Since the state of the recreation has changed once again, I should press the Y button and select Change Recreation. Let's give it a try. Yeah, what's up? So you want to recreate the scene based on the police investigation data. This is the time the body was discovered, when the police were investigating the scene. I've recreated the scene! Hmm. Originally, Mr. Cameron's body was here. In order to be consistent with the fake photo, he was moved to the center of the flower beds. Then, the footprints going back and forth from the body. Could they be? Indeed. There's only one possibility at the moment. These footprints were probably left when the body was moved by the flower beds. Okay. Same as always. I won't rest until I've suspected every suspicious nook and cranny. The blood splatter above the snow. There certainly was a substantial amount. It's almost as if the murder was actually committed here. But Mr. Cameron should have been attacked near the snowman. Exactly. In that case, this blood must belong to someone else. They didn't test that? They're idiots! Hmm. What? But the police report said this was Mr. Cameron's blood. That one- the one in charge of this case was Blaze the best. It would have been simple for him to falsify that information. But wouldn't that be faster to just clean up the bloodstains rather than falsify the information? He wouldn't be able to do that. Think about it. Blaze knew that Mr. Cameron's body would be discovered here. In which case, the forensic department would naturally become involved. Ah! Aluminol reaction! That would have discovered it with the power of science! Precisely. It would have been difficult to completely erase all traces of the blood. However, falsifying the results of a blood test would be much easier in comparison. He would just have to switch the results from the forensics reports. Aw, what a bummer. Knowing that those documents I read were falsified. Uh, it looks like Mr. Cameron's clothes were completely soaked in blood. Not to mention the forensics guys are really easy to manipulate. Oh yeah, 100%. Hmm, if the blood splattered here and got onto Mr. Cameron's clothes... That would mean, at the time, the blood stains here had not dried yet. I see. So then, this certain someone's blood was splattered here just a short while before Mr. Cameron was murdered! Indeed, that's exactly right. However, if that's the case, wouldn't a new contradiction arise in this recreation? Mysterious blood stain data jotted down in the organizer. Mm -hmm. Would the problem be. Is it somehow connected to any of the evidence? That's a handprint, isn't it? The fire, the stupid freaking fire. Freaking Jill. She just had picked up the phone. This is a clear contradiction. What would she have been able to do to stop it? She would have known. She would have been able to call somebody sooner. That's true. You mean the blood stain? Do you see how this blood stain is broken up by the remains of the fire? This is proof that the fire occurred after the blood had scattered around the area. Huh? But I thought the fire occurred before the murder. It seems that information is suspect as well. If the fire had broken out after the murder, then the child who started the fire should have seen the body in the blood stains. Why then did they not come forward as a witness? It's likely that that would have put Blaze at a great disadvantage. I'm saying, I'm telling you, I think that it's, um, little to best in the orphanage. You think being so? Being an idiot, and then his dad's like, shut the frick up. <laughs> like... Okay. Okay! Guess we'll need to investigate this fire in more detail. Don't give children kerosene. Hey, you! No. Yes, sir! There should be some records of the fire in the police department under a different case file. I want you to bring me every last investigation report about the fire. Understood, Shifu! Oh, and one more, Fane. What is it, sir? Contact the House of Wayne and Zhang Fa. There should be evidence from this case in my old man's room. We'll fly it over here on the Concord jet. It'll be here in five minutes. <laughs> what do you mean? I just remembered why I recognized this scene. A long time ago, I saw a picture in my old man's room. 
There was a drawing resembling this scene. What did you say? However, I think it looked like something a child drew. A child? Then the artist may have been the culprit behind the fire. It should still be somewhere in my old man's room. Have them send it over here. Understood, sir! Fax it over. Well, while we're waiting, hey, bro. Hey, do you have anything new to talk about? Nope. No. Oh, no, bird. <laughs> I don't think so. I think there were more things to talk about with Kay. That's true. Yeah, what's up? Oh! You wanted to hear about Little Thief's newest feature? Hmm, not particularly. Well, too bad, because I'm going to tell you anyway. Come on, don't say that! Using the latest feature, we can now recreate the scene at different times. She just went ahead and started explaining it. Right now, we can recreate the scene based on the police investigation report. And Mr. Cameron's eyewitness testimony. Please let me know whenever you want to switch scenes. The three I disasters. Knew that. A kidnapping, a murder, and a fire on top of that. So much happened that it's hard to keep things straight. The fire was caused by a child on the evening of the incident. Which means the fire occurred before the kidnapping and the murder. Did you notice something about when the fire started? Indeed. There's one thing that caught my attention. If the fire occurred first, then something left at the crime scene should not have been there. What has changed at the scene due to the fire and the evidence that I have now on hand? Question. Can bricks catch on fire? No. Okay, then that's not what I thought. It seems I'll need to take a moment to compare the two. Alright, we already did that. I already checked the crime scene. Oh, maybe we need to switch to the other. What up? You wanna recreate the scene based on Mr. Cameron's eyewitness testimony? This is the moment of the incident when the president was being kidnapped. I've recreated the scene! This is where the president and his kidnapper were really seen. That is correct. However, now the orphanage can no longer avoid suspicion in the kidnapping. That's why it was necessary to distance the kidnapping site from the orphanage grounds. Ooh, sneaky! So that's why they took the fake photo! They disposed of Cameron's film and threatened the president near the road. Then, using new film, they took the false photograph. If Blaze was in the league with the kidnappers, he could conceal any incriminating evidence. In fact, the SS5 incident case files have been sealed away until Blaze's recent downfall. I feel like... Why didn't the president say anything when he got back to Zanefa? He didn't want to talk about it. Like, wouldn't he have said, like, Yo, after I got kidnapped, they carried me on their shoulders so I wouldn't, like, put footprints no, down? No, they were talking about they carried Jack Cameron. Cameron is the but, victim but here. But what about him? He doesn't have size 7 feet. There's no way. <laughs> you know, like, how did, maybe, he get, how did he get back there? Maybe he was there for a while. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I feel like there'd be a lot of things where it's like, yo, uh, I was in this storehouse and there was a man and a woman, like two <laughs> people, who took One me. One of them had a lot of fur coats. Oh, it was Cruella de Vil, basically. Yeah, it was Cruella de Vil. <laughs> the truth of the case has been revealed little by little. Indeed. However, some mysteries still remain. We'll need to thoroughly investigate any changes in the previous recreation. Ba -ba -ba. Do we have to investigate Igloo? There's no mistaking it. Mr. Cameron was originally here when he took the photo. The killer took a brick from the flower bed and attacked him. Mr. Didn't Cam plan that. Mr. Cameron was hit in the back of the head and he grabbed the snowman's right eye as he fell. And since we now know that Mr. Cameron's body was here, the state of the other recreation must have been changed as well. Indeed. In that case, perhaps we should go and investigate it. But we, but we already did. <sighs> the place Cameron was killed was not near the flower beds. So then, whose blood is this? Just now, the state of the recreation has changed completely. Regarding this blood stain, the time the body was discovered seen has probably been greatly impacted as a result. Then let's go check it out right away! Preparations are ready! Since the state of the recreation has changed once again, I should press the Y button and select the change recreation. Okay, but well, we already did that. Talk to... 
Pinnacle? It's the one-eyed snowman. It goes all the way up to my shoulders. At this, I, oh, at this size, it's a gigaton class. You gotta hand it to the kids who made this. I was hoping for some more diverse information instead of just its size. A bucket hat, button eyes, and a wool scarf? It's fully equipped! All that's left is to knock it down with countless punches and kicks. I was hoping for some more objective information instead of what you'd like to do with it. Talk to Franziska. She, What's up? Uh, she can't say anything. She's just like, Scruffy, don't talk. I've recreated the scene. Maybe we logic it? Oh, that's possible. I don't think those two fit together, but we could try it. Oh, those two go together. Good call. I think we were supposed to do that a while ago. If we suppose that Blaze was one of the kidnappers, it becomes more likely that what he dug up yesterday is connected to the abduction. <gasps> what is it? I figured it out! It was the treasure! Treasure! Couldn't Blaze have dug up the ransom money? The $100 million ransom. Buried in the ground until the heat had died down. You can't tell me some kid didn't come by hmm. in 12 years and dig up money. It's certainly possible. I know, right? Monster's footprint data updated in the organizer. I don't think it was like a check. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> to pay to the order of $100 million <laughs> for signed. ransom money. Take that to your local PNC. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like that seems normal. You can't, you can't just bury a billion dollars, you know. <laughs> it's only a hundred million. Still. Shifu, I'm back. That was quick. I brought the info on the fire. The kids started and a photo of the drawing in your father's office. And also, oh, I've been waiting for this. Hurry up and hand them over. The information held by Agent Lane's father. It's Voldemort! <laughs> Voldemort's come! Voldemort with a, has arrived. With a cat? Question mark? That's a dog. That's a dog? Oh, it's Dogen. Duh. Dogen. Dogen. This is it. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what I remembered. This was the picture drawn by the child depicting the night of the incident. Sure looks like it was drawn with a child's touch. Oh, his poor, his poor little Muzilla. Yeah. That's what happened to him. As I thought, the one who drew this is most likely the child who started the fire. Time. You don't know that! So the time was midnight. Child's, that in mind. child's drawing, a data I jotted down in the organizer. Dugan. Dugan. Shifu! What now? Sorry, but it's gonna have to wait. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor. Why do you think my old man had this? Mm. Per perhaps he obtained it during the course of his investigation into the incident. Although, I don't know why he would have concealed it. Agent Lane, might I be able to see the details of the fire? Why weren't there any dog paw prints? Hmm. Dogen's dog can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, his dog always jumps on his back. Does he? Yeah, he did that, on, he like, he did that in the case. Is he like Yoda? Like, <laughs> with, with Jump the, on back, I will. Yeah, like, Luke, carry me through Dagobah. <laughs> like, that's what I'm picturing. <laughs> Luke, do not drive tractor into the Dagobah swamp. We lose 2,000 stunts that way. <laughs> yeah, that sure. sucked. Allow me to read it post haste. The boy who started the fire snuck out of a bed on the night of the incident. Hmm? It seems this boy went missing several days later. What? Don't tell me that he witnessed something he shouldn't have. Yeah, this- That's horrible! He was only a child, after all. Well, I'd hate for that to be the case. We can't rule out the possibility entirely. Huh? Apparently the boy left some stuff behind at the orphanage, and it was taken as evidence. What's this? That's... What's that doing here? Hmm? Mr. Prosecutor, do you recognize this? Yes. I know one piece of evidence that's related to it. Which piece of evidence is related to what the boy Obviously the horn was on my truck, so I looked like a unicorn. <laughs> Definitely. I don't know what it's doing here, but isn't that the missing horn from this Mozilla doll? N no way! You mean this came off the president's- You know of it? Yeah. I've noticed the president kept it closest by as a decoration. I've always thought it was strange how one of the horns was missing. If you twist the horn, 
this doll will play back any previously recorded audio. So if we put the missing horn back in place, we might be able to hear a different reading, a recording! Indeed, it is possible. The doll is currently on the 51st floor of the Grand Tower. Is it? Hey you! You heard that right! Yes sir, I'll be right back! Runs up 50 flights of stairs. <laughs> we just climbed 65 flights. Well, you have, to t you have to go up to the top of the elevator. Shifu, I've got it! The mighty Mozilla doll! Well done! Give it to the prosecutor over there. I like how Lane's just slowly trusting us more and more. If we insert the horn found at the orphanage into the doll. ka -chi. It's a perfect fit! ka -chow. Well, can you hear anything? My stuff at Best Buy! Uh, is this a child? No, this is a woman. Mr. Huang, it's Amy. It's been a while. I saw the news that you would be coming to this country. I was really nervous about doing this, but I decided to send you a message. Over Rule! Over Rule! Please stop the playback! Judge Courtney? What's wrong? Stop it now! It's a boy. Your son. He's just been born. I'm sorry, that's all I wanted to tell you. His name's John. John Marsh. It's a fine name for him, don't you think? Yep. Yeah! Uh! Interesting, huh? <laughs> but, but why? That's what I want to know. I'm like, um, I know 12 years ago that was... I, I figured that was about the right timing. I thought mm -hmm. he'd be in the orphanage, though. Marsh? Did she say John? I'll be waiting in the courtyard of the orphanage at midnight on February 9th. At midnight? Why do you... Hmm. Why is this a weird, like, like drug exchange where it's like, you got the goods? You got the goods. got the goods. You got the goods. Here's, you got the your, here's your son. <laughs> what? It's so and then, weird. And then Roland's like, hey, president, I'll kidnap him. Maybe like, maybe like this Amy is like secretly evil and like... Maybe it's Roland under a pseudonym. <laughs> I would have had to give her a different voice then. No, she, but no, she's using a voice changer. <laughs> even if it's just once, I want John to be able to meet you. I'm sorry if I've been selfish, but I'll be waiting. Meanwhile, John's like, <laughs> No way, that was my... John. What's the meaning of this, Miss Courtney? John is not my biological son. Why'd you adopt him? <laughs> he's adopted, but why is he? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll this, hear we'll hear more about this. Is this like maybe her older sister? We're about to hear. Like about twenty this. years old, maybe something like that. Did John know about this? Of course he knew. John's mother, Amy Marsh, passed away about five years ago. She and I were cousins. Okay, that's we're cousins. We're cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Since we were very young, we've always been very close. We were often mistaken for sisters. Okay, yeah, so John wasn't adopted by Justine until five years ago when she was 21. But, but, um, they've, she's had him in custody, so to speak. Custody, custard, custody. Custard. That's why when she passed away, I thought it was only natural that I look after John. Also, there were circumstances which prevented me from revealing his father's identity. I never even told John his father's name. Yeah, you should have told me that sooner, Can Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Can you at least tell me his first name? It's like, Dijon. I bro, only know one bro, Dijon. Bro, 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 I just thought of something insane. What? What? John. And John Doe. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> and now it's all been revealed, thanks to the recording on that doll. My dad is secretly... <laughs> <laughs> Did John's mother send the doll to the president? Hey. John. Was he the president? Really my dad? Yes, he was. Before you were born, Amy worked as a diplomat in Zane Fa. She was the hot secretary. I was about to say, that's how it always goes. <laughs> a diplomat. So that must be how she became acquainted with President Juan. Oh, is that how we're, well, we're calling it nowadays? <laughs> Acquainted. Hang on, didn't you tell me she worked at the village? The, the village. <laughs> didn't she work at the village in the Renaissance Festival? We must protect the village. Huzzah! <laughs> Guess how many pickles win valuable cheese. <laughs> this is supposed to be really 
heartfelt, but I'm just like, yeah. gee. Jeez. Hang on, didn't you tell me she worked at the orphanage? Yes. After returning to this country, Amy left her job as a She's basically like, technically, I didn't lie. I told you some parts of the truth. <laughs> she always had great passion for charity work, so she began working at the orphanage. And then Patricia Rowland killed her. <laughs> That's where he met Lewis. <laughs> Not so fast! Hey, Miss Courtney. So this Amy girl, she called the president there herself, but... She never showed up at the scene of the SS5 incident. What's with that? Amy fell asleep. <laughs> she couldn't make it. Apparently someone had been following her the whole night. Perhaps it was Blaze. I can't say for certain, but it's possible that it was his doing. After that, Amy never got another chance to see the president again. So, she died five years ago. This conversation must be painful for John. Oh, right. Hey, John, you thirsty? How about I buy us both some juice? We can go together. I'm a part of this, too. I'll listen until the end. Besides, I can't afford to buy my own juice. I can't afford it. Ooh, shot down by a kid. Yeah, sorry, kid. Yeah, he's making the bucks in the <laughs> movies. He's making those dollars. John, do you understand the reason I met with the president two days ago? The secret meeting from two nights ago. I wanted to tell him about Amy's death and that you were alive and well. But I... I... I see. That's why you couldn't tell us your reasons for meeting with the president until now. I get it. She would have had to reveal his connection with John. I brought a bouquet of lion lilies so that he would understand I truly did know about Amy. I still think it's weird she didn't tell us, though. Oh, me and the president go way back. <laughs> we were bros. We hung out. <laughs> that one time I took him to McDonald's. <laughs> Those yeah, were the you days. Don't you don't take the president to McDonald's. You take Every him somewhere classy, like Culver's. Everyone can appreciate a good McDonald's large fry. And hash Even browns. the president. Yeah, the hash yeah, browns are... It's true. Mm. Those flowers are a dear memory to the president and Amy. I think I just said Bambi. Bambi. <laughs> Bambi. 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 The first present she received from the president was a bouquet of lion lilies. What? Just at the sec she's like working at the secretary desk, and he's like, "Hey, uh, security, security, secretary lady, uh, come to my office." And he's like, "Taza." Guess what? This suit's actually inflatable. <laughs> yeah, he just shows he's super fat, and then he hands her flowers so no one will talk about it. <laughs> She's like, he could lose some weight. They're like, he's so buff. She's I like, can fix him. <laughs> <laughs> but now, even as he has passed away, if only he were still alive, perhaps I could have introduced him to John. Don't really care. He just cries. Shifu, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt this atmosphere, but there's something I need to say. Oh, what is it now? Can't this wait? I also love how um, the two reporters are there, probably taking notes on every person. Oh, yeah. like, we got a scoop, you like, Rita, yeah. Rita Skeeter. They're like, yeah. John, John, age Harry, eight. Harry Potter, age, age 12. 12. Well, actually, there's been one last item that's been delivered here from Zayn Fa. I have here the president's will. W what? Who brought... The president's will? <laughs> is it a copy? Or is it the real thing? Because you shouldn't have taken that out of the country. <laughs> My old man received a great number of special medals from the president himself. As a token of his trust, the president left his will in the protection of the Lane clan. Okay. Those medals and that will, they were the pride of our clan. Our family treasure, so to speak. Ugh, this is... Agent Lane, does that will have something to do with the current case? All of my money goes to Blaze the Best. <laughs> you bet it does. It says here, I hereby acknowledge John Marsh as my own son. What? What? But John's name is in the President's will? Are you certain that will was written by the President? Yeah, he entrusted it to the Lane Clan even before the SS5 incident took place. They'll have to appraise it back home, but by the name of the Lane Clan, this is the real deal. Di Jun Huan was the president of an entire nation. The existence of his son would have caused considerable controversy. However, he left behind a will just in case. This makes it doubly sure. I still can't believe it myself, but 
There's no room for doubt. I mean, maybe it's because we're from America. If, if like, if one of our leaders was like, uh, I have a kid. Out like, of wedlock, basically. Out of wedlock, everyone would be like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, like, uh, nowadays like, in nowadays, American politics, nobody cares. Like, Literally everyone in politics has some sort of weird shitty history like that from what I've yeah. seen. And so it's just kind of like, like eh, Literally, okay. you know, compare it's like Richard Nixon got like impeached or, or he resigned over Watergate, which was like this huge scandal. I'm like, yeah. the stuff that's happening in politics nowadays, those are like way more serious than Watergate. Yeah, like, Nobody yeah. cares anymore. It's ridiculous. John Marsh, you are the son of Dijun Juan, president of <laughs> this Zay This is like Fah. an anime. <laughs> Your, your father's Dijon Mustard. <laughs> cool. John! Run away! John! Like an anime boy. To be <sighs> continued. He's gonna run and then get kidnapped again, I swear. Oh He's gonna run boy. and bomp into- Bomp? Bomp? Bomp into, uh, John Doe. John He's gonna the, be like- Oh, your like, name's John? My name is John, uh, too. We're- we're twins. <laughs> <laughs> and he'd be like- Identical, yeah. Alright, that was a packed few episodes, huh? Yeah. Things are getting kind of interesting. That this yeah. next this next investigation period is where, like, your mind will get blown. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> but it's like it's some of the best plot twists ever coming up. Mm. I would. This game has one of my all-time favorite plot twists in it, and we haven't and we have not encountered it Everybody's yet. Everybody's a robot. It's better than that. Ooh. It's believable. Everybody's an alien. <laughs> it's believable. Anyhow, look forward to that next time. You, we're gonna just leave it on the cliffhanger there until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God bless. Beep.